And we are running on everything. Yeah, so I wanted to see how long I wanted to see if you would jump in or or if I was going to do it. As per I just engage, I just engaged in a classic a hole Zoom call joke where you pretend you're muted but you're really not. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Zoom humor, Zoomers. Yeah, uh, no, 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 not not Zoomers, not Zoomers. not Zoomers. Zoom humor. That's a portmanteau that gets into dangerous other territory. <laughs> that we don't want to touch on show and tell with tone and tone we're we're friends of the zoomers we were are you a zoomer i don't think so i don't think i would be a zoomer because i struggled to figure out zoom and i feel like zoomers are like the kids who are in high school when they went on zoom like they are intimately familiar with zoom well okay actually zoomers are gen z Gen Z. What age would that be? Uh, and while Tone looks that up, let me just introduce the show real quick. Welcome to Show and Tell with Tone and Tone. I am Tone. And I am Tone. And welcome to Show and Tell, the only show that is a replacement for an anniversary gift sometimes. The number wow, one show hated, hated by father-in-laws and the second most endorsed Wordle podcast on the net behind the Dude. New York Times. Yeah, uh, but unlike the New York Times, we're not going to hit you with that double letter puzzle every day. Did you did you do the Wordle today? I uh, I yeah. hopped on. I'm I'm finally on the bandwagon. Good. Welcome, me and me and uh, me and DJ and Mr. Rachel are on a hot streak. We're like on our third day of getting it on our third try. Damn, I was fucking pissed because what did I? I got locust. I pulled locust out of my ass, but then I couldn't get focus. Oh shoot! Yeah, so, sorry. Spoiler. Oh wait, wait, wait. By the time this, this is comes, not gonna, this yeah. will not air today. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> um, but that I have, is a timestamp. Our intern just handed me a note. Um, Thank you. Gen Z are people who were born in the mid to late '90s, and like between the mid to late '90s and early 2010s. That, so that would technically be me. You, my friend, I was '97. Are a member of Gen Z. But I thought I thought I was on that weird cusp where I was like, well, what year were you born? Ninety seven. Yeah. Sorry. Millennials are 81 to 96. Gen Z is 97 to 12. Oh, and apparently we got we got alpha cooking. So Big Ben is an alpha. Oh, dang. oh yeah, he is. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. Ben is a beta right now. <laughs> ben is definitely not a beta although elements of his li livelihood are still in beta testing yeah who are we kidding ben runs the ship over there yeah he's he's the out you know first it was desi and now it's ben oh i hate when that happens you know yeah yeah i just got uh two little bitch ass cats who are both the um no i would say they're betas they're beta they're beta cucks no way to talk about pants and sweats and by the way i want to um i want to address something last week <sighs> or whenever we recorded yeah. um honestly this know, joke they, is going so far i don't even remember what we I don't either, yeah i don't even remember <laughs> um you know the episode began with the declaration that i was not wearing pants yes and as a token of my gratitude to your cats today, I'm not gonna. I mean, I'm not gonna like demonstrate this. You're not wearing wear, sweatpants. You're not wearing sweatpants. I, funny no, enough, I am wearing. I am wearing sweatpants. Same. Let's go, dude. Yeah. This and I got the old. I got the old fuzzy socks oh, on. Oh, it's like I got my house slippers on. Dude, I'm wearing my indoor Crocs. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Do indoor Crocs have sport mode on them? Dude, go figure. So I got two pairs of Crocs, right? I got my indoor Crocs, and these are—I don't know how well you can tell them. These this, are camo. This uh, okay? no, I couldn't. I, actually, I was wondering what you were even doing because I couldn't see. <laughs> you what I was holding. Uh, my outdoor cro Crocs, Antonio, are white. I mean, they were when I got them. They're my outdoor Crocs, so now they're those, like those are your stuff. those are your your Crocs I, to hit the town. I feel like I kind of. Maybe should have done it the other way. The yeah. camos, the camo Crocs should have been my, you know, my John Cena Crocs. You can't see them. <laughs> um. I just saw an interview about why John Cena did that. I think it had something to do with uh, Mike Jones. Who? Mike Jones, the rapper. Uh. <laughs> 
Anyways, um, I need a tissue so bad. Whatever, I'm just gonna use this microphone. What is that? Are you drinking a hot toddy? No, a hot toddy, as you apparently do not know. I don't know what that. I don't know what that liquid was. Don't, don't, don't. Wait, don't. That wasn't on. This is your on blast moment, Antonio. A hot toddy is hot tea with uh, whiskey in it. Uh, what I just poured was amaretto, which is an Italian liqueur. It's very sweet. Into some iced coffee. What What do you even call that? Amaretto and iced coffee. Ah, uh, so we have. That's a hot, not like a cocktail. I I have an idea. I have an idea. New drink alert. We got a hot toddy and we got a cold Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the front door. LOL. That is a side splitter. That is a side splitter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me get a cold Tony. Real that quick. is a hoot. That uh, is a hoot. Well, cold Tony's pretty easy to come by, huh? How's it how's it going out there in Chi Town? You cold? Uh yes. Yeah, are you in cold. it's cold? Are you in shit. this with us? I'm in it. It's 12 degrees this morning. It was, oh, I don't even know what it is today, but uh, a couple of days or yesterday, it was like 20 degrees when I was trying to go get my Horizon 2, which I went to that Target 20 minutes before they closed and they didn't even fucking have it. They just had the PS5, the PS5 version. Oh, you don't have it. You don't have a PS5? Not yet. I'm waiting till Rachel makes you sell yours and then I'm going to buy it. (laughs) I'm gonna, buy, I'm gonna buy it for well under market price. Damn, you took that disc, you took that disc, bro, and you pulled out the Uno reverse card and you slammed it right down on my face. I appreciate that. I I deserve that. I had that coming, <laughs> honestly. Honestly, uh, I got a draw. I got a wild card draw for ready for your ass. Oh fuck, <laughs> I'm not ready for it. So uh, so yeah, it's cold as shit over here today too. Yeah, um, can we? Can I, um, I, you know, I want to riff. Can we riff for a second? I thought that's what, I thought that's what this show was. Just actually this show is about show and tell, but, uh, we'll riff, we'll riff alert. That's gotta be like the next graphic. Yeah. (laughs) Riff alert. Um, while you're talking, I'm going to have a notepad running right here. Yep. Riff alert. (laughs) So you got, you got like the trip to, you got the trip to target 20 minutes before they close to go buy a video game. Um, at that last blizzard that we had a couple weeks ago or months ago, depending on when you're watching this, oh my God. Um, it was like 8.37 p.m. or 9.30. We know if Target closes at 10, it was 9.37. Yeah, it was, it, it was again 20 minutes before Target. It was 20 minutes right? before Target closes and a blizzard had just began. Um, what did you and uh, we, got, we got an email that the formula – DJ Baby Ben eats was getting recalled because there's like botulism or Ebola or something in the factory, and botulism. um, oh my yeah, God. and the statistics are horrifying. And I mean, listen, you you know, I mean, you you have pets, you can I think you can appreciate this, but the email is like one out of ten million babies got sick. If, if so, you or a loved one has experienced blah 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 blah, blah you you will be entitled to a mesothelioma payout due to. <laughs> That's what it was, except it was Ben, and you were freaking the fuck out. Well, yeah, because it's it's it's, it's like I mean, well, just think about the now. Think about this for a second. You're a company that makes baby food, and like, not even joking. I think like two babies died from it, and they were like, everybody throw it away, go get new food, don't eat our food. Like Jesus, real shit for a company to do that, you know? So. You know, Rachel's like looking up, like, okay, what can we? What's the equivalent? Yeah. What's another brand that's got the same recipe or whatever? Right. And she's like, does dude, ben, Target does, brand, same shit. Does Ben have a has have a sensitive tummy? Um, I don't know if you have to look for certain. I don't know. I don't no, 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 no. And he and he was fine. He had like had maybe one one bottle mm-hmm. made from like the batch that was supposedly contaminated. <laughs> So, that would be fucking horrifying. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Well, so, you know, so we're like, oh shit. Like, well, they have, they have this, they have what we should get, what we should give him at Target. Mm-hmm. But like, Target's going to close in like 15 minutes. 
and there's like a blizzard outside. I don't, and Rachel's like, I don't know what we're going to do. And I took off my house Crocs, <laughs> put on my outside Crocs, threw those, the through those apart. bitches in sport mode. And yeah. you're like, baby, you know, ben, ba- DJ took, baby Ben, this is for you. Like, listen, I took, I took this, <laughs> activated the, the cling, that gator grip on the Croc. And I whipped it out to Target. <laughs> and I whipped it out to Target. And I got there like no. 10 minutes before they closed. Okay. Oh my God. The teenager working at Target is like standing in the doorway. Okay. And there's like a foot of snow on the ground. That was a funny Unplowed, shit. Unplowed, no salt, foot of snow, teenager at Target like blocking the door. And he's like, sorry, man, we're closing in 10 minutes. And you looked and him dead I in the said, eyes and you said, I need food for my baby. I said, I will Not kick yet. you in the chest, sir. I said, well, are you closed now? And he said, <laughs> well, no. And I said, all right, bet. I just found out my baby's food is poison. <laughs> Walked past, just blew past the dork. Um, and, when, you know, and he's 16 years old, making fucking $12 an hour. He really doesn't give a shit about Target. He just wants to go home truly, and make out with his truly, girlfriend in the parking truly. lot. No, dude. <laughs> Eh, yeah maybe 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 so i go and i i like assess the food rachel was like just get like two containers just to see you know just yeah. to see we'll just yeah. see what happens and here's something that you don't learn until you're a parent um even though every baby in the world needs food there's like perpetually a shortage of baby food at the stores like it's so bad some places only sell you two boxes at a time because people will stockpile it Jesus. So Ra- so Rachel was like, get two. And I'm looking at this whole shelf. And it was like pre it was like day zero of the pandemic. There's like two cartons. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, literally. Fuck. And it's like Blizzard is happening. They just announced this recall. So this this is about to be like a hot item. And I think to myself, do I want to make sure my dude can eat? And the answer to that question obviously is yes yes so i just took both my arms pull all the shit off the shelf it was like two hundred dollars of baby food holy shit is baby food and i like went to, i went I'm, I'm i like yeah it was well yeah so i, I like i like i like go to check out and I, you know i'm like i get the candy bar <laughs> <laughs> yeah let me get uh let me get 200 oval teens and throw in that snicker please and they're like, so they're ringing it up you know and it's like boop 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 and then the the other 16 year old working the cash register like looks at my chocolate coated payday and she's like do you want this in the bag <laughs> i'm like no 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 motherfucker that's not even gonna see the parking lot pocket oh shit, pocket. sorry so i'm no, like no mother beep <laughs> so i'm like sex tuple fisted with bags of baby formula like walking out and the, and the little the little boner at the front door is just like, oh yeah, thanks for coming to Target. And I said, yeah, have fun closing in five minutes, dipshit. <laughs> I didn't say it. I didn't say that, but I thought it. I thought it. I'm like standing by, t- telling me you're closing in ten minutes. Listen, bro, this is not a restaurant. You take yeah. order in retail. You're open till you're not. Right. All right. This is not a restaurant. And even, you don't go into and- Olive Garden and order soup and salad five minutes before they close. You can go to Target and buy a bunch of shit three minutes before they close. Right. <laughs> oh my god that's my target closure story target target closure rant over <laughs> i'm getting i'm getting better oh no 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 <laughs> i'm getting better he said Oh my god. You know what they Welcome say. To tone and tone with tone and tone. You know what they say, uh the sh- the fire shines brightest right before it burns out or something oh, about Oh, I like that. That's like a variation on the night is always darkest before the dawn. That's what I meant to say, but I'm glad that is, I'm glad yeah. you got it. Yeah. So <laughs> so, so, so anyway. So, let me ask, can I ask you a question? Of course. Any any and all. Antonio of why were you going to Target to buy the sequel to Horizon Zero Dawn? Thanks for teeing me up. Uh, well, to uh, to kick off this, what, right? Because we're doing good. We're doing good shit, right? Good shit happens. Yeah, is your good shit that you beat Horizon Zero Dawn, dude? My good shit 
I have a lot of it because I have been thinking about this since we finished that episode. Yes. But it's perfect that we're recording this now because not but less than 12 hours ago, I finished Horizon Zero Dawn. And yes, bro. I did – I finished Horizon while – Renee and my other friends were doing a bar crawl that also probably would have been fun, but actually Renee told me that I would have hated every single bar. So I'm glad I spent my time doing that. But it was it was beautiful. And honestly, I feel like the story was kind of short the way I like What do you mean by that? Like if you would like I think I broke it up perfectly because I, I I haven't checked how many hours I logged into the game, but I I feel like I stumbled into playing the game the right way to correct the pacing because I feel like the, <clears throat> the game could have been finished in like maybe 10 hours if I just brute forced through the story, which is pretty short, but I... Yeah, I mean, like, if you're only doing story missions... Right, and, and um, if you would have told me the story... I feel like I would have, if you would have told it to me beforehand, I feel like I would have been so interested that I would have just ran through the story and I feel like it wouldn't have been as good. Well, right. And I mean, I think, you know, there, there are games in that genre. Check your phone real quick while I'm saying this. There are games, <laughs> there, <laughs> there are games in that genre um, where like you can like rip through the story and ignoring the um ignoring the side quests and stuff is totally it's totally, totally fine. it's totally fine like you don't you don't really gain anything from exploring the the world but with horizon zero dawn and forbidden west i'm learning as i kind of chew my way through it um like because part of the story of the game is about how like the world ended and and whatnot it like it's um important. it's important to play the side quests. Exactly, exactly. It helps it like helps tell the story, it fills in the world. And I'm this, all... that, and the other thing. And so I when I started playing Horizon, it wasn't like that. I just played it, did a couple of the story beats, and I was like, oh, this is like it was so early, like it was right after the attack on the the main civilization like when Aloy becomes part of the tribe I was mm -hmm. like oh that was kind of cool but like you know I don't know it seems like there's a lot story-wise happening and I was like okay I'm just gonna put that on the back burner and then I leveled up like crazy and then went into the frozen wilds so I feel like I just paced the game really well on accident like this was not on purpose and then the the and then while I was in the Forbidden what or the the Frozen Wilds, that story was so interesting that I was like, oh, okay, I'm missing out. So then I went yeah. back to the actual story. But by the end game, I realized that all of the side quests in like Meridian and those mm -hmm. other major cities, I didn't touch. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, oh, I wonder what I missed out in there. But, yeah. like, I still have well, that new game lot, plus. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, like, even with skipping all of that, like, I had, like, going into the final, the, the final boss, I was like, dude, like, the characters were so well written and so, um, they felt like real characters and not just, like, an NPC that you save from a fucking glint hawk or something. Like... So that was, like, at the very end, you know how you're, like, going and checking on all your buddies that you've seen throughout the game? I was like, oh, okay, like, I remember her, I remember that guy, I remember this, and I was like... Right, oh. right, right. It was so, yeah. like, like how you were saying with uh, Forbidden West, how, like, the starting area is full of all of those people, I'm sure it's all of those people that I saw at the end. And I was like, oh, this yeah. is, this is what's up. Well, right, like, there's that, like... <clears throat> And I mean that, you know, that's what I think to me, what makes it such cool storytelling is like, you know, it takes this time to figure out 
what characters matter to you in the story and like you the player get to sort of decide what version of the story of the end of the game you want to get like there's only one ending unless you die and then there's two endings but like right. oh, there you know if, 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 if no if you die oh. you die <laughs> okay i was you like know, i was like whoa, 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 whoa. Like, <laughs> i gotta load it up and, um, and just fucking die in the end but like it's cool that that game like really really rewards you if you go deep in the lore and you do all the side quests and shit but you don't get punished if you don't right 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 right. so that last couple uh they weren't cauldrons but like going to the gaia facility and like all of those text logs and all of the uh like voice memos i was going through and i was i was doing what you did like how you were telling me you played and i added like an extra hour two hours probably just going back and doubling back and making sure I had all of the text files and everything. And I was sitting there reading it and I never waste my time doing that stuff, but the story was so interesting and I really loved how they did the, like the text logs were cool, but yes. there was something to the voice logs. Like you yeah, could tell those, were, those I listened to those. You could tell that they knew they had something with this game because all of those voice logs were amazingly like voice acted and there's so much heart and character like the part spo- spoiler for Horizon Zero Dawn but like the part where the they're doing is, <laughs> is it 5 years old 2018 or it came out the same time as Breath of the Wild so holy yeah, shit 2017 right wow okay well then if you haven't played it that's on you baby yeah go play it but like when they were doing the eulogy for Liz and everything, I was like, "Holy shit!" Like, right, right. That, they were, that and that was um, that's like Erlen's sister, right? Who? No, 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 no. Uh, Elizabeth Sobek. Like, the, oh, right, 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 right. But yes, yeah, so when they were doing the the eulogy for, or when Aaron's when Aaron's sister died, and like he's sitting there pouring his soul out to Aloy, I'm like, "Holy shit!" Like. Even this guy, who's just like a fucking brute and like kind of a dumbass, like he, I cared about him so much at the end, and he was one of my favorite characters. You called it right, dude. He he, he just, is the man. He was just a big dumb lug with so much heart. Uh, but yeah, yeah so that's that uh, is really that's that heart is like the key. Um, and you know, I thought. I was I was really happy that I was wrong because after seeing the Forbidden West um uh trailers mm-hmm. I thought that he was going to be the villain of it. Interesting. But just because I feel like I've played so many video games and watched so many movies that I just am expecting the guy who is helping you at the beginning to turn like I'm always expecting that twist right and so I'm happy right. that I'm wrong right. like like Shang-Chi I don't know if you saw it the the um Marvel martial arts movie no I have not okay super cool but <clears throat> same thing that happened same thing that happened with Aaron happened with that one of the main characters she was kind of like kind of good kind of bad and at the end she was like a huge pivotal part of like securing the victory and i was like okay but i'm waiting for her to turn bad i'm waiting for her to turn bad and then the movie ends i'm like okay well i just wasted this whole movie like thinking that (laughs) she's secretly a piece of shit when she's really like just awesome and that's how aaron was and how i ended the game i was like i'm excited to see where he's at in the next game that makes sense so yeah uh that is definitely one of my good things that is that is definitely one of my good shit well i love that what are you doing i'm not doing anything dog you're cl- you're clicking around <laughs> no I'm not i'm fully i'm fully focused okay let me, let me ask you this this is this is this, this is important and i kind of know the answer are you zooming from your macbook <laughs> Oh my god. 
You know, it was on my to-do list for U of D Mercy Spring Break this past week. It was to set up your... <laughs> set up my computer. You know what I did not do this week? This shit's so funny. Hey, you're, laugh- you're laughing at me. I'm about to make you feel like an asshole. You know what my good thing is this week, dog? What? My good friend, Antonio. No. <laughs> oh, no. no. You know what? You, when I, you ask me what I'm clicking around to, you'll notice you're going to have to censor this if you don't want to get docked. Oh, you know what's shit. Not- yeah, I have harassed. to. Yeah. Uh, don't forget the apartment because uh, I wait. did. <laughs> God. Good luck, dude. That's all right. Hopefully, it shows up. That's so fucking funny. Oh, I love it. I love you. I I'm trying to that. change the address, but it's too late. So. Oh, that's you know, so I funny. A bunch of, I used a bunch of reward points to buy it, so I can't cancel the order. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's so- anyway, you're my boy. I love this podcast. I love that you love that game. I want you to be playing Horizon Forbidden West tomorrow. Dude, that's so funny that you even did that because I was going to go to GameStop today. <laughs> no, no, you're too old to go to GameStop. Dude, I, honestly, I was leaving Target last night and I was like, oh. I felt like I felt dejected. I was like, you know, the only thing I wanted to do was go buy this video game. Then I walked out with two boxes of cereal um, and I was like, I guess I'll just have to go to GameStop. Hey, that's a good sentence. Let me keep that sentence for a second. <laughs> Repeat it, because that was just a stream of conscious. I didn't even hear it come, <laughs> come out of my uh, mouth. You were like, I left dejected. Um, all I wanted was a video game. All I wanted was a video game, and instead I left with two boxes of cereal. <laughs> that's unbelievable. Like, that's like you saying... <laughs> I think my favorite my favorite quote I've ever heard was you saying I put the gator grip on my crotch. <laughs> <laughs> that was absolutely disgusting and vile and I love that. I want like a t-shirt that has like a croc <laughs> and it has underneath it says I got that gator grip <laughs> on my crocs. That's funny. All right, new All right, mer- well. new merch alert, new merch alert. <laughs> New merch. We don't have any merch. Yeah, so it's all new. All right. Well, the uh, the surprise has been spoiled. That's... We're gonna touch. We're gonna touch base after this episode. I did cancel the order, so now I can send it to your actual. Oh account. my god, that's even fucking funnier. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh so let me let me think of other good shit because I I would feel bad if all I talked about was a video game. Oh, I know one one of the other things that <laughs> Wait, I wanted what's wrong to talk about video games. Nothing, but I you know, I feel like we always talk about video games. And there's we nothing wrong with that. But but uh so, some of the other good things, which is actually why I wore this hoodie, because it's a throwback to should we do a podcast, which was Hey, that's a classic, man. You were never No, yeah, yeah, you were on I was. We had a great we had a great episode of yeah, Should We Do a Podcast. We talked about Twister. We did talk about Twister. Um, so <laughs> since we rolled that 20, um, I guess my the thing that I keep coming back to for all of my good shit is um, all of like all of the videos that I've done with all of my friends. Like mm-hmm. that one day that I went through and I was just watching old vlogs. Um, that was that was such a good time like uh my buddy matt who we have had like it took me it took me a lot i guess in college i learned that some people are really good friends for certain sections of your life and then some people are yes lifelong friends and that was really hard to find out yeah but like Matt, I would I would like to say that Matt is like one of my lifelong friends, but like I haven't seen him in a, in a long time, and we only talk every now and then. But Matt was my fucking boy for college. Like that was all of uh. Oh my god, that's so funny! <laughs> oh, get off! What are you doing? Get off your! Phone. We're doing. I'm so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um. So, like, going back and watching the vlogs, 
uh, there's a lot of Matt. And, like, me and, uh, like, we celebrated his birthday. You know, we would play Smash Bros all the time. And um, so just seeing Matt. Matt, yeah. Matt is a good time. Uh, I'm trying to think who else. I have a best friend from college named Matt. Really? Also, Yeah. Not, not Matt Sprinkler or Poop or <laughs> he has you no, know what? He has no nickname. No, Poop, Matt Poop is a high school best friend. Wait, is Poop's name Matt? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My college Matt, his name, his name is Kitten. Oh. <laughs> I'll tell that story. I'll tell that story some whole ass other time. Yeah, we we're, we're going to have to do a whole episode where we just go through your friends and their nicknames. <laughs> no explanation, just... All right, so this is this is kitten. This is poop. This is toaster. This is yeah. I, don't be ridiculous. I don't have a friend switch. Named, we called toaster. I have a friend named Matt that we called wagon, well, which, which is another story. Well, which what's funny is I have I have a buddy named Toast, <laughs> <laughs> and I honestly forget how he got the nickname Toast, uh, but that was sort of how he intro. Well, now he's my like brother-in-law sort of mm. he's mm. not he's not married to my sister but he's married to my cousin and cousin-in-law cousin-in-law but he's like he's like a brother like i feel he told uh I, this is another good thing this is this is some more good shit shout out toast toast is a road dog um <laughs> and actually it, this this reminds me of one of the reasons why I love Toast. So, Toast, fuck, I've known for like five years at this point. Anyways, him and my cousin met, and a couple of months later, we got introduced. I was like, I already, I already fucking love this guy. Like, just his vibe, honestly, his vibe reminds me of you. Like, you two are very similar. So I was like, okay, this dude, must be a good ass dude then. Yeah, so you know, you know the vibes, great vibes. So we, vibes. so we, um, we wound up going up north with all of my family, and for some reason, me and him got well. He got stuck in the like room with the kitchen because he wasn't allowed to sleep in the same room with my cousin. Right. So oh, yeah, yeah. So it was like I remember that. Vibe. So, so I was for some I don't remember why I was in that room too, but we wound up sharing a room that trip, and I remember him telling me, uh, he's like, you know, and I think him and my cousin had been together for like less than a year, and he's like, I'm gonna marry your cousin. I love all of you guys. Like I love your family. Like I and I was like, it was so sweet. And like a year later, they got married. I love that. But even funnier, before that moment, he, uh, we went to Iceland together. Oh, okay. Right and, on. I remember when you went on that trip. Yeah. So it was me, him, and three of my first cousins. And so, like, me and my cousins, you know, we all have these inside jokes and everything. And I, I kind of felt bad for him, but he really, really, really wanted to go on this trip. And he was sort of the catalyst of why we went to Iceland. <laughs> So we we're like, yeah, dude, toast is cool. Like, it'll be a good time. And so one of the nights, <coughs> I was just telling this story uh, to Renee the other day, actually. Um, one of the nights, it was probably like, because we had long ass days. So it was probably like four in the morning, whatever. And we're all sitting there. And he looks at us and he's like, guys, I just want you to know, like, I really, really love you, really appreciate, and I, I'm so excited oh. to be a part of this family. And it's like four in the morning. We're all shit faced drunk. Like <laughs> and he's like he's like, I just love you guys. And I looked at him and I was like, dude, shut the fuck up. Like <laughs> Nice. I, I was like, We love you, but you're making it weird. Cause it was like four in the morning. We all had like this long ass day. And then he was just like, oh, okay. And then at the end of the night, I like pulled out. I was like, no, I'm just kidding, Andrew. You know, like, I love you. Like, it's all good. And I was like, but none of these guys are going to, none of them are going to be sentimental about that. So don't even, I was like, do me a favor for your own sake. Don't even say it again. <laughs> That's so funny. 
Come on, Matt. And uh, now, you know, now I just now toast. Now he's in, man. Now he's in it. He he's in it. That is great. I love that. So yeah, I guess uh, I guess my good shit is just uh, my people, my friends. You know, um, I feel I, I guess. When we get to the next episode, you're gonna you're gonna take over the uh, the loved ones portion of it because I I didn't touch on it, didn't touch on her, but you know, shouts out Nay if you ever watch this, if you can hear it through the walls. She just knocks back and all the shit comes flying out of your cork board. <laughs> <laughs> all of these. No, it's like it's like in Paranormal Activity, but even more scary because it's like your partner. It's a real a, person who will come yeah, through the like, door and just like whatever, dude. A demon, no big deal. I'll just get a priest and a rabbi over here to clean house. But like, yeah, you know, throw some holy water you know, on there. Roommates, that's real. That's terrifying. <laughs> I love it, man. It's nice. It's good sentimental shit. You know, we need a little sentimental shit every now and then. I um I agree with that. I agree with that. So here's a question. Let's say your name was Matt. Yes. You know, because like we're boys at the level that I'm boys with my other Matts at this point. Yeah. What um what stupid one word nickname would you want for yourself? I have I got a kitten, I got a wagon, and I got a poop. Hmm. Which one do I want or which one do I feel like no, 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 I would no, be they, given? They, you can't have those. Those are taken. So I'm just giving you No, no, three. no. No, no, no. I get that. But like what one word do I want or what do I feel yeah, like, like is, would, would one... be given to me? Well, I guess either. You can approach that question however you see fit. Okay. So I feel like I would be late, Matt. Late. Yeah. Late. I was I was, I was literally thinking that. <laughs> late 100%. I would be I would be late. But what would I want? Um, you know what I would want? I would want pig mat because, hey. because, and you know, I have to grab a prop for this and keep in mind, we are at the 48 minute mark. I don't know when this will cut out, so I'm going to go quick, but this is the reason why I would be pig mat. Look at that sophisticated graphic. This is a guy that cares about production. I just want to add while we're waiting for Antonio to come back, uh, you should follow us on Twitter at show and tell pod two, all one word. And then the number two show and tell pod two. And if you know who has show and tell pod or show and tell pod one report them until they get kicked out of Twitter. And then we can have show and tell pod. But if you want to follow us on Twitter, hit us up at show and tell pod two. So this is why I would be pig. Matt. Be pig Matt. So I thought I, Correct me if I'm wrong, but I may or may not have shown you this, but. Dude, what the fuck? I love that game, dude. Holy shit. Yo, you know what Pass the Pigs is? Oh, my God. Hey, Tony knows what Pass the Pigs is. (laughs) She knocked on the wall (laughs) in solidarity. Dude, that rips. Fuck yeah, I know about Pass the Pig. When I was little, my grandparents had a copy of Pass the Pig, and it came in, like, this hard, like, tiny book-shaped case, and there were, like, you know, it was flatter than the pigs, so there were, like, two pig-shaped or, like, pig-shaped outlines for where the dice were, and there was, like, a pencil in it and a score pad. Pass the Pig's fucking rules, bro. Dude. Oh my god, you have no idea how often I try to get people to play this game and like everybody awesome, talks with the worst funnier choking hazard. Oh my god, that's so funny. Let me see those. Move those bastards up to the camera. <laughs> pig. They have pig that, Matt. they have that new pig smell. Oh god, I can taste that from here. Oh. <laughs> So yeah, oh my god, that is that's awesome. that is um, that's a vibe, dude. Dude, that is uh, that is something that we are gonna have to play IRL or do just a whole episode of playing past the pigs. Because you I, know what, I can't. Our viewer would hate it, but I'm in. <laughs> I literally cannot get anybody to fucking play this game with me. Past the pig is a god tier game. What a great time waster. Oh my god, you're just. My, my good shit just changed from all of that to you knowing what past the pigs is. 
<laughs> Isn't it funny when like weird shit that you played growing up or whatever is like not just your own weird thing? Dude, yes, I I found I really I want to think of like an example of that for my life, but past the pig is all I'm, I'm just like I so I found this on a pod I heard about it on a podcast and I was like that sounds like my perfect brand of weird mm-hmm. and strangely fun. And so I immediately bought one, played it a couple of times with people, and then everybody's like, yeah, this is way too complicated. I'm not playing this anymore. I'm like, not complicated at all. What the fuck? And what's the deal? Isn't it like, the, it's like how many pigs are up on their nose or on their side? Yeah. And I've simplified the rules even further to where things are just worth either 5, 10, 15, or re roll. Love it. Oh my love God. It. I love that so much. Okay. This is a. Uh... We're going to get a thumbnail real quick with the pigs. 69er. <laughs> Family show. Dude. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. They're not going to. They're going to be kissing right on the little. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let me. This will be like that. <laughs> Perfect thumbnail. Good ass thumbnail. And you know what? Really great that we like included that in the episode. You know, I, this is good content for the, the viewers. I I think it's Ben's so gonna love that. I think it's so funny because normally I when I'm watching these, I just hunt through for a good frame. And you know, you could always do it after or like even be creative and like make something else for the thumbnail. But why? Why do that when Yeah, you know? why? This is so good. <laughs> this came right out of the trough, dude. Right out the trot. We can't, we can't, we got it out the mud. We got it out the mud. Now, listen, while, while you were saying that, I thought of the perfect one word Matt name for you and then I forgot it. Um, shit. Is it oh, I remember. It? You'd be breadsticks. Uh, <laughs> that is, that is very much my personality. You'd be breadsticks. I was going through. I was thinking, I was thinking about the OG yesterday. Rachel got a copycat recipe for the chicken and ganaki soup. Mm-hmm. And it and it slapped and connection to past the pigs. Her recipe added bacon to it. Ooh, big time. Ooh, too bad, too bad. OG knows where their money maker is, and if they were to sell the frozen breadsticks, they would make so much money. But they would also bang, go out of business. They would go out of business because nobody would go back. You tell me you go to to OG for the unlimited soup or salad? You know what? I would because if you buy them in the grocery store, they lose the most important factor. Oh, which the, is the little uh, bo- bothering the the waiter be like, "Hey, I know, I know you said you'd be right back, but it's been five minutes and there's still yeah. no breadsticks." And I and you know, ma'am, I couldn't help but notice also that when I said I'd like more breadsticks, you you very obviously gave us less. You know, yeah, you like brought us three. There were um, six last time. Now there's only three. <laughs> you brought a crumb. Like we're on like our ninth basket, and you're just giving us like an eighteenth of a single breadstick. Like that's not enough for us. Yeah. Also, uh, this isn't a thing anymore. But sh- throwback to those little uh, pucks that they would give you. <laughs> <laughs> the ones that felt like a like a taser, where you had to sit at the front of the Olive Garden and congest the whole walkway. They're, they're like only seating people like like Olive Gardens are the biggest chain restaurant and they only seat people at four tables. So there's like a whole battalion of families trying to wait to go eat. And then like you and my dumb ass like it's like a coaster, but it has lights in it. <laughs> Can't wait to eat nine bowls of soup. That, that has the uh, I think PlayStation is studying the OG pucks for their rumble technology because <laughs> Olive Garden has the most aggressive rumble known to man, which is why they had to go out of business and just started texting well, people. You wouldn't know it because you don't have a PS5, but they actually used that technology in the new controller. Oh, on the back, it has a little Olive Garden stamp. It says, when you're here, your family. <laughs> yep. Yep. It says, play no limits when you're here, your family. Not an ad. Hashtag not an ad. Hashtag not an ad. Hashtag... Send us some breadsticks. 
Oh my god, dude! What if Olive Garden wanted to sponsor this podcast? I would. I would only take holy shit either breadsticks or obnoxious Olive Garden Olive Garden branded merch. Okay, check this out. I got a hypothetical scenario for you, and if you want, we can leave it. And this is what we'll open with when we record next week. Beautiful. Olive Garden says, "Lifetime." free anything at Olive Garden and you get a guest, you can bring a guest. Okay. Forever. Yes. Free Olive Garden forever. Whatever you want, however much you want, no matter how ridiculous and you, and you can bring a buddy or whatever, but, but you can't eat Italian food at any other restaurant ever, not including pizza. Okay. You but, do but you could eat it at home. You could eat at home, but not not takeout. Okay, done. Easy. 100%. I would do it. I don't like Italian that much. And oh. the Italian I do is, is, so, much, is so much better <laughs> at home. Yes. And and is and is the family is family style, aka Olive Garden. <laughs> All right. Well, I get that wasn't it. That's a tough question. I'm gonna have to reflect yeah, on that. Yeah, you question. you reflect on it because you, that is uh that is a better question for you. I would one hundred percent and you know what? I would if given the chance to have a life supply of anything, it would be my life's mission to bankrupt that company. Like I would want to do, I would want to take advantage of it so hard that the company ceased to exist and they would have to be like Olive Garden defunct because of one rogue breadstick addict. <laughs> I think we could do it, honestly. Honestly, I feel like we could too. Together, we could do it. Like systematically take out Olive Gardens. <laughs> we'll just go like from one small Midwestern city to the, you know, like we'll like, start in Des Moines and then they're like, like they're like, oh, uh, they're back, <laughs> they're back. <laughs> Close the doors. <laughs> yeah, they'd be like, okay, you might be here, but, but you're you not family. family. <laughs> <laughs> all right should we wrap it up and come back next week on that i think that is the perfect out do we have an uh, an out sound uh let's I can make a big wet mouth fart uh-huh. <laughs> how sway oh no funk flex damn it i did that yesterday too all uh-huh. right well i think that's it and uh we'll, we'll be back i have been See you next week I have been toned. Peace.